Hey everybody, welcome back to Now It's Dark, I'm Jim. I just watched a movie called Wrath of Dracula. I was pleasantly surprised with this movie. It's a 2023 film. It is written and directed by Steve Lawson. It's about Mina Harker embarking on a mission to rescue her husband, Jonathan, from Castle Dracula, assisted by the mysterious Professor Van Helsing. Does that sound familiar? Well, it should, because it's really lifted right out of the pages of Bram Stoker's Dracula uh, with a little bit of a twist. Um, I, After starting to watch this film, I was uh, instantly um, taken by the style. So I'll get to that in just a second, but I would like to introduce to you the characters and who played them. But Mina Harker was played by... Hanja Bang Benz, Count Dracula, played by Sean Cronin, Mark Topping, played Van Helsing, and this is a character that he has played previously uh, in some other films, and then Jonathan Harker was played by Dean Marshall, and then the three Dracula brides, Maria, played by Ivania Snow, Jasmine Sumner, played Elsa and Frida, Marta, Svetek. And uh, I know I butchered that all up. And I want to say this was filmed in the UK, but I think it's even more, um, yeah, it just says country of origin in the UK. But for some reason, I feel like this was actually like Denmark or somewhere like that. Um, released... Uh, in Pakistan, it's listed as Pakistan having the first release of September 15th, 2023. This was produced by Creative Studios. And so, like I was mentioning, the style of this film was very familiar looking to me. And it's because this same studio had did um, a movie that I reviewed not too long ago called Ripper's Revenge. So it is a kind of very period piece uh filmed low budgety but very atmospheric um not a lot of blood and gore uh it's really based on kind of story and character and it's not you know meant for like gore value or anything like that it's like a bbc uh, made for tv movie type of a deal um <clears throat> But it's very atmospheric. And uh, I wrote a stupid dad joke. I just read it on my index card. I'll, I'll try to deliver it as best I can. I wrote, I'm a sucker for a good Dracula movie. Um, and that's what this is. And I think they did something creative, too, with the uh, actor that they um, have playing Count Dracula, Sean Cronin. He is bald and kind of not your traditional uh, Dracula look. Um, he kind of is like that better looking version of Count Orlock is kind of what I think they were going for. And it kind of works. Um, so there's all sorts of, of stuff going on. You know, you, we get the Mina uh, thing and the Van Helsing. It's mostly a movie about them, too. It's kind of like a buddy film where you've got the experienced uh seasoned veteran the cop training the the new rookie cop and that would be mina um I, they do some things for the purpose of the story where mina kind of levels up her skill set very quickly while it felt like it was a very drawn out process in the movie itself if that makes sense so like you get kind of like lost in like this extended montage with music and of training sequences um so it feels like oh this is going on forever but it really wasn't and then she levels up to like <laughs> this um fighter you know she learns karate or jujitsu or whatever like very quickly um there's a lot of uh, voiceover, a lot of narration from Mina when she's doing some journaling and then also with Van Helsing. So you kind of get like that insight into where they are in their head during the movies and uh, during the movie as they're getting their relationship established. And then like 
what each of their characters' intent is uh, by going to Count Dracula's castle. Like Mina's wanting to save her husband, who's kind of gone missing and, and sent like a very uh, strange letter home saying that, you know, whatever. I don't want to spoil too much. And then Van Helsing is wanting to do what Van Helsing does in all of the lore with any vampire. Um, so it's a kind of a cool mix of the, seeing these two. Uh, they get into the castle. We see good interactions um, on the way to the castle. They get like a little side quest from the innkeeper, um, which I thought was a nice little touch. It wasn't necessary, but it was good. It was, it was a nice little touch. Um, they get this little side quest. It doesn't take away from the movie. Um, they get to the castle. They get to stay the night. Um, we get to meet the three brides. We see Jonathan. We see Dracula. We see fights. And we see people getting, like, uh, delicately uh, put away, so to speak. And um, we get kind of a resolution. And not everything works out for everybody. So... I think that the movie does a good job of also not um, like <clears throat> overlooking like the real Dracula threat and, and uh, you know, like not everybody's going to live. So they do a good job with that. It does also seem to set up a potential um, sequel with Mina and Van Helsing becoming like partners in the crusade to be monster hunters. Um, and I would probably watch that because with the conversation that they were alluding to next had to do with werewolves. And I'm a fan of that as well. So um, these are movies that are very stylistic and very atmospheric and, and set uh, because they're filmed in the UK. That's old country. So you have those backgrounds and you have the locations that are pertinent to the stories. So they have that advantage to it. You know, is it like the, the biggest blockbuster kind of cinematic? Dracula movie full of action. Not really, but it is a nice, easy watch, and it's something uh, that has a good story to it as well, and uh, it's not horrible. So I guess that's the best compliment I can give, is it's not horrible. Um, I liked it, so and I like Ripper's Revenge. I'm sure I linked that somewhere. Um, so I like this style of film myself. Uh, it stays kind of true to the classic stories, and it, it just looks, visually it looks really, really nice. So that's going to do it. Let me know in the comments down below if, you saw, if you're going to see this or if you have seen it or whatever. Have a great day. Row 18, plot 20.